Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tech Steve, and if you're the person who's been looking for a set of VR headset that are high quality, has plenty of apps, then today I may have a product that'll work for you. Today I'm gonna review and set up the Oculus Ghost. So sit back, relax, and let me tell you all about them. So let me tell you a little backstory about the Oculus brand. Back in 2012, they was actually a Kickstarter, believe it or not. And then back in 2017, Facebook acquired them for $2 billion. Can you believe it? They're really known for their top-end model called the Oculus Rift. Now, the cool thing about this is that it comes in at $199 for the 32 gig version, and they have a 64 gig version for only $249. So let me tell you a little bit about the product. In the box, you're going to get a VR headset, a controller, a power cable, a AAA battery, a wrist lanyard so you don't throw the controller across the room, and a spacer for people who wear glasses. On top of the headset, you're going to find your power button, your plus and minus volume rocker. On the side of the headset, you're going to find your charger input cable and also your auxiliary output. On the bottom, you're going to find your microphone so you can chat to people online. On the inside, you're going to find your curved VR lenses and a sensor so it knows when you're taking them off. These headphones are designed to fit your head really snug with this foam around the edges. Even though you can add your own headphones, it comes with stereo speakers, one by each ear. The Oculus Go headsets takes about three hours to charge them, and out of that, you're going to get between two to two and a half hours of use out of them, depends on what you're using it. They have a refresh rate about 60 hertz, but on some applications you can get up to 72 hertz. So let me show you how to get them connected to your device. The first thing you want to do is go to your app store. It's supported on iOS and also Android devices, and then press install. The next thing you need to do is set up an account with Facebook, or you can sign in at the bottom to create an Oculus account. Press the start now to begin. Next, go ahead and plug in your headset. Now here's a note from Oculus. If you want to charge these up, always use the original charger. Do not use a battery pack or any type of charger from another brand. Press continue, and once it finds the device, press continue again. Be sure to press and hold the power button on top of the unit so you can power them up so it can find it. Now what you want to do is find your Wi-Fi and go ahead and choose it and log in. This way, if you're using any kind of application that requires data, it'll have access to your Wi-Fi. The next thing you want to do is insert the battery into the remote control. Then press continue. Choose your dominant hand. Unless you plan on buying apps, you can bypass this by hitting skip. Then press continue. For safety reason, they have embedded a video that you have to watch before you can get to the next step. Acknowledge that you need to be sitting down or tethered while using this device. All you need to do right now is just wait for the headset to update. Let's take a closer look inside of the VR world, and I'm going to show you all the menu systems. Okay, so now I'm in the app. You can see there's a record button under sharing, so I can take pictures and also share photos with my friends. If you look over here at the navigation, you can have home, library, your store, browser, gallery and you can search for items. Under people is where you can change your profile, find your friends, create a party and events so before you know it Facebook will have live showings where you can watch events live and be able to look around. Under for notifications there's none yet but if anybody leaves you a message it'll pop up right here and then settings. You have your brightness your volume, reset view, Wi-Fi, or you can see all here. And see as I look around, you can see all the different things that I was looking at before. And let's try this roller coaster right here. Preview. thing I noticed is that I actually moved my head with the scene like I'm really into it. And then let's go browse the store. Let's check out the free lineup.
Whoa, those are really nice. I feel it really emerged in it and they're really clear. I really like that. Now that I had a chance to take a look at this, I'll give you a final thoughts at the end of this video, but let me show you a few things that you can do on the app. Now, if you take a look at the app, it has a lot of the same features that are inside the headphones. You have your library, event, your friend, and then you have settings. And under settings, you can change your password, you can unlink accounts, you can put a pin number on it, you can reset up your controller, you can set up all your updates. I hope that gives you a quick understanding of what these VR headsets are all about and how to get them set up. Now, my final thoughts about these headsets is that if you're looking for a standalone device and don't have to use your cell phone, for example, if you're using your cell phone as a VR headset and a cell phone message come in or someone calls you, it will break the signal, so you have to start all over. So with these guys, you don't have to worry about that. You put them on your head and you use them. So overall, I like the quality of them, the sound speakers built in, and they really fit your head very tight. So if you'd like to know more about these headsets, I'll leave a link in the description below. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.